So in this video we are going to learn how you can create the Next.js application. So as per the recent updates, React.js is now officially recognized as React.dev on the internet. As well as instead of using create react app that is CRA which was the most popular method for creating react applications, it now recommends using create next app Gatsby or Remix or some other method in order to create your react application. So we will be going with the most popular method that is create next app which is used to create next.js application and is used widely in the community. So to begin with go to visual studio code and select the folder where you want to create the project. For example I have already created a folder that is Udemy react.js next.js course. Here I will be collecting all the projects and in the end of this course and in between you can access these projects and their code in order to verify my work with your work to see if you are facing any issues. So let's create a new next.js application by using npx create next app space the project name for us it would be real time group chat it would ask you to install the dependency that is create next app and just click on yes we want to use typescript no in this case we will not be installing typescript do you like to use ESLint? We will be disabling it for now for simplicity. Do you like to use SRC directory with this project? And yes, we will be using SRC directory. Would you like to use experimental app directory with this project? And we will not be using app directory with experimental features. Select no. What import alias would you like to use? We will select the default at the rate and we can change it later. So our project has been successfully created. Now let's clear our console. Get inside the project folder, clear it and run yarn or npm install. We can go with npm install in order to install all the dependencies which are already installed but let's run it for the safety purpose. Start your project with npm run dev in order to start the development server. So our project is running successfully. Now let's confirm if the project is running on the browser. So our project is up and running at localhost port 3000 and you can see the project is running fine. Let's go with the next step that is to create the project structure and set up our code structure. So once our project has been created, we will now be setting up our code structure so that the development environment is good and ready for us to develop related UI and feature components. So first of all, let's go to our JS config.json file. And let's set up the base URL according to our requirement. We don't need the default one for this video. So let's select the SRC folder for our base URL. And we'll be selecting star as the import path inside SRC. So this is done for our JS config file. Then what we'll be doing is we'll go to SRC. And here we'll be creating a folder called components. In this folder we'll be placing are all the UI related components that are reusable and we'll be using those components inside our pages. So let's create our first folder that is layout that will be the root component for our child component so that we can apply a global styles on all of them. Let's create another folder that would be our container and let's name it chat container. Let's create the file for it and name it layout.jsx. In this video, I will be creating every file manually instead of using the command line tool so that you can get an understanding of how it is done underline. Let's go to chat container and repeat the same process chat container dot JSX. Let's collapse this. Let's create a file called constants dot JSX. We will be placing all our constants over here. Now close all the files. Let's go to API and remove the default hello.js file. And let's create our own file that is socket.js. We'll be using this in order to pass our request to the socket server. Let's close this file. Let's start our project. npm run dev. So it will say that it cannot find the files using at the rate imports and it's easy to fix. Don't worry, just go to pages, app.js, you can see where the error is occurring. Over here, we have the imports stated like this. Instead of using this way of importing the files, we will be using it in this way. We will be simply using 
it without accelerate and it would work perfectly fine you can see the server is running successfully now let's check our application in the browser and here as well it shows us that the styles are being imported using at the rate so let's fix this first of all go to your code editor go to index.js remove the at the rate save the file now get back to your browser and you can see the application is up and running now what we'll be doing is we'll remove the default content from our next.js application and we'll be writing entire ui from scratch in order to do this go to index.js and remove all the content which you find inside the main remove it save it and remove the imports and constants that we are not going to use right now enter and image are also removed click on save also go to style go to global click on select all and delete them all and save similarly go for home.module.css remove all the css except the main click on save we will also be removing all the css for main except main height later on in the videos we will be removing all the files from here globally and we will be using them in the centralized and individual module component click on save so click on save and close all the files now let's run our project once again confirm that you are in the right folder and run npm run dev now check if your project is running in the browser so you can see our application is up and running at local level 3000 and also if we inspect our developer console we can see that there are no errors and warnings so that's a good sign to start up additionally when we go to our code collapse all the files and let's create a prettier file with dot prettier rc extension inside this file create an object use trailing comma make it null use tab width we'll be using 4 instead of 2 for semicolon we'll be using it true then go with single quote We'll be using single quote, so make it true. Also, we'll be using brackets for spacing, so make it true. For J6 bracket, same line. We'll be using it, so let's make it true arrow parenthesis we'll be using it so make it always and let's clean up our file and then save it so this will allow prettier to read this file and format our code according to our configuration prettier c configuration is totally optional it's up to you it's a, if you're using it's totally up to you if you're using some other extension you can configure this file or other file according to your requirement but this is totally out of context and with this close the file and we are almost set to start up with our first development step and install the dependencies. So see you in the next lecture.